Okay, let's just um, just gonna do this uh, brief one, and we'll start off with the dollar index. Um, so the dollar, I mean, I'm in two minds at the moment, and it's a, a key critical area for me. So I mean, previously, obviously, I spoke about you know when prices down here with divergence where with the euro and dollar index at lower prices, and I wanted to see this break for a bit of a confirmation. Now we have had that, and we've come down to like this order block here, or support here. And it's fine support here, which I did not really want. I want to see. I want to see this break. Um, now we push back up. Um, the way it's looking to me, I mean, it could go both ways. I am more inclined with the downside, but it needs to show weakness from here. And the way it's looking, I don't like that. The downside was just I prefer because it's just more clearer. If it starts breaking to the upside, then my, it ruins my ideas. So. We're into this four hour block here and we've got this down these down candles that did move up I spoke about. So this is the breaker. So if I mark that out. Right. Okay. Now this area has pushed higher into it, but I've seen it previously where it has pushed higher into it and it's broken down. So I'm gonna keep a close eye on this. If it breaks above this then i f I'm thinking it's gonna go higher. Okay. Um but I'm not ready to take a long position either at the same time. Um, it's it's one of those situations where I just I'm just not comfortable with it. So I want it to go down because the technicals on the downside is more clearer. So let's just do that. So in the earlier live session I did go over it, but I'm gonna go into it more detail. So if I'm correct, right? I mean we could get a push up into. It. So I've got this level marked out here. Okay. So if I do this, this was the breaker that led to the move up, and we could get a retest into it. Okay. So if I do that. So this low is comes in at 94.44. I do. Re I don't really want it to go there, but I gotta go with what price is telling me instead of what I want. Okay, 94.44 there. Now let's break that down to the weekly. So obviously we got the weekly level here. Now I spoke about this here previous market review where we had this bullish candle here, and then when price was trading here, I said. We broke back above this high, but then we came back down. I said, okay, if this was a bullish low, why, if this was a, like a low, it's going to go up. Why you should have stayed above that weekly high and gone up? It didn't do that. So on a weekly basis, like just looking at candlesticks, I'm thinking of this as a trap. And this is why I do not want price to breach this high here. Because if I'm correct, then the stops from those that were long, they're going to be resting below here. So let me just get rid of this box here. So I'll mark up where my invalidation, val validation and invalidation levels are. So this high here comes in at 9389. 9389. So just do that different color so we know when we go down to the lower time frame it's clearer. And this low comes in at 9253. 9253. And if that breaks, then we've, all, we've obviously got that this target here um which was obviously this is i think the magnet i mean is more likely to go here so for example if i was to ask you know where we'd like to go i mean because it's it's run up like i spoke about previously um taking at this consolidation high here so you know it came up took out all these highs here then broke back down where the stops can be resting if this was a five minute chart it would be resting here but obviously when we're dealing with a daily and weekly chart we can get pullbacks which are you know a, a large number of pips you know, if, unless it's trading purely for weekly chart and say it's short here, yeah, stop there, target there. Even though I would consider that a high probability trade, but how much drawdown are you going to take and the risk reward shit. But I'm just weighing up probabilities of where price is most likely to go. In the longer run, bigger picture is likely to go there. But because we've had such a decline and the way price is looking, we could have a pullback. You know, you always get, it doesn't go in a straight line. I mean, look at these pullbacks, 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 you know. And obviously we could get consolidation. So, this low here comes in at 9190 I think. Yep, 9190. I'm still targeting this low here. I still believe we're going to go for here. But that is longer term. But we got to deal with what's happening now. So like I said on a weekly basis, I want to stay below this high here and I want it to start running below here to there. Um on a daily obviously if it takes this high out then there's two things that could happen. Either it runs these highs and then rejects immediately and runs it back down or obviously just continues higher to that level of marked at 93.44 which is what near this level here which would make sense because these highs here would be taken and run up into previous uh, support become resistance so I may it may mean that 
if it does choose to take out these eyes, I may have to wait on the sidelines and wait to see what price does if it gets there and then start looking for shorts. But as it stands, I would like to see it go down. So it's not, it's not much, I mean, I know it's not much hype, but it's just the way market is. And I'm not going to justify every single move because people that do that, you know, they just want an opinion on every move. Sometimes if you don't know, you don't know. I don't know here. Maybe others have a better read. I just don't know. I'm not worried about saying that. Okay. Um, and also another thing is right. The a lot of the majors looking low, looking like they want to go lower to me, and the exotics or the crosses are looking clearer. Um, so for example, pound dollar looks to me like you know it's quite weak. You know what I mean? And I think it's gonna want to take out these lows next. What happens after that? We'll have to wait. But looking at Euro GBP, which we'll go through, pound dollar looks lower. So the low here is one two nine three two three. And it's not even giving me. It's not giving me clear clear setups. 323 so this is why I think the dollar is more difficult for me to read because the majors are going down and if I'm wanting if the majors are going down then obviously the dollar should be going up um, so but I'm going in with a bias of dollar weakness so it's hard to long the majors the only one that's clearer than the others is the euro and I'll go over that in a minute so there I think next stops are gonna be resting there uh, previous market review um, I think we had these lows here and I wasn't I said I wasn't comfortable taking along here we've come down taken these stops but look at this we've come up took out these stops then back down again so I think it's ranging at the moment you know what I mean and when I see that I'm thinking Euro GBP manipulate the cable crosses that's what I'm thinking okay so either consolidate GBP and let the cable and like for example pairs like Euro GBP rip or pound Aussie and if you look at pound Aussie that has been moving while well, they hold the cable they let the pound Aussie move on Aussie go down which we will go over okay so if this gives in then obviously I mean, I mean I'm oh, the only reason I'm doing going over cable is just to mark away it could go I'm not willing to take a trade on this I'm not c confident enough to take a trade on this but I do think it's gonna want to take out this next and if that gives in then I'll be watching for this block here which comes right under it but watch for this little here but I think if this gives in them possibly go lower but it's not a clear read to me so I won't be focusing on this too much just just I'm just watching this for euro GBP purposes really uh, euro dollar is more clear to me but the way it's looking <laughs> it's um it's not giving me what I want to look for so I'm comparing this euro dollar pattern to um, a pattern I've seen before and as in the previous video I spoke about August 2015 look at the price action there where the euro was controlling the board here the euro strength was crazy and you know all the euro pairs were ripping dollar yen was dropping and kiwi was dropping if you so you, I'm not gonna go over it again but you'll have to watch the previous video to check up on that so I'm looking at this sort of this sort of price action here so we've got this move down here so let me mark that up we've got this move down here right and we've got this move down here so this move down took out the stops of these lows here okay it's a bit like a, fra a fractal so that took out the stops of um, these lows here okay then we have this movement up which broke this market structure high which would mean these down candles they were buying within so we expect support there and if I want support there similar here at this point if you watch the previous market review I said I was a comfortable getting long here but if we break above these highs here and then dip this was the minimum to get long then that would give me confidence to get long and on the Friday I wasn't trading on the Friday but it came down there and I had the 47 level marked out it came to the 48 other brokers it did touch that level but it's basically this H1 block it came and it went long as I so these so if you were to on a if you were just trading swing basis I would have got long here just on the high here the resistance on the base of the resistance becomes support could have a stop loss there and obviously target to take out that so that's just all one hour but i'm just obviously you could have got a tighter entry going on to lower time frame but that went as planned so let's go back to this pattern i'm seeing so we had this move down into this block here rip up so we had this down move into this here rip up we've had that rip up so far then the down move into the block that formed here then we had the big move up so this formed this block here let's form this block here okay 
So it's a very similar pattern, very similar pattern. So I'd like to see strength here. So it depends on what happens in Asia and London. So I'd want, I'd wait. Uh, there is nothing to uh, give me confidence to go long here. Earlier I had a chart marked out, and the when price was here, I said these two down candles. It was so you got to know it was out of session time. So within out of session time, price isn't as respect your bullish support and resistance as much or the blocks as much. But the bigger picture is if it takes at this low here, then I think it's gonna go lower. Until this low hole, as long as this this box holds here, I'm lo I am looking at hunting longs, and that brings me back to the dollar index where I want to see bearishness from where it's at. So I need to see proof that buyers have stepped in, okay? And if I see that in the lower time frame coming into London, then I'm going to be targeting these highs here, okay? Now on the flip side, on the short side, I'm looking at, you know. I mean, we've got these down candles here and these down candles here so I'll just be looking at this for now this could be a breaker that ran up took out these highs here and then it's breaking down respecting this uh, so this is what I mean it's at an inflection point when I tweeted earlier it's at an inflection point it's at a bullish level I'm looking at but at the same time it's, at, it's trapped between the bullish and bearish levels I'm looking at so when I mean, it's like that I'll have to wait for market to give me more clarity and if it gives if it gives me the bullish for example if I had a rip up here here like this say this is London open I had a rip up and then I had a down move into depending on how price actually looked like into whatever block was here then I'd be looking for the longs up to there but until I've got that I've got to be on the sidelines until it shows me what it wants to do so that's that um, Aussie dollar I mean Aussie dollar I mean we've had this breaker here I spoke about and it's been respecting that respecting that it's going lower and I spoke about this as the target for short side but I wasn't willing to short this I said I'd rather short this through you log going long euro was because the euro crosses are looking clearer um, so it's come down into their objective one and it shows further weakness I think I take out this fill in this and these down candles here which was this weekly but like I said I'm not comfortable taking this um, you know it may be going the way I wanted to but I'm not comfortable so if I'm not comfortable, I will. I only want to take what looks solid to me. If I'm in two minds about something, I'm not going to put money on the line on that. So I'm hoping this goes lower because then I'll be looking for Euro Aussie longs. Similar scenario with Kiwi, you know. Um, I said, uh, obviously it's come to this low here, taking out the stops. And I said, for me to go bullish this, we need to see a move all the way up. Nice move up above this high here. We haven't had that. Till then, it's still showing bearish price action. Okay. Now I'm going to go to a pair that's clearer to me, dollar yen. So dollar yen, actually let me get a clean chart up, okay. Dollar yen and the euro dollar and the euro crosses are the only ones that are looking clear to me. Maybe as the week unfolds there'll be more. But as it stands dollar yen, and dollar yen is a pair that I like because it does its own thing. It's what the dollar is doing, it can just yen strength, depending on, you know. So dollar yen, right, is if you go to the week, monthly, level, if you remember, when this monthly candle opened, I said this was the target, the 108.80, and we hit that on the Friday. Was it Friday? Yeah, we hit that. And hit that. Uh, so that was the objective we met. But I don't believe it's going to stop there. I believe we're going to go to the 108.12 next. It's still bearish this, so this low next. And 107.50 here. Probably lower to the 107 levels. I reckon by the, if, I, if I'm correct, I reckon we'll get, depending on looking at the weekly range, um, I think we're going to get 107 this week. 107.50 to 107. So I'm going to mark that out, right? If it continue to bearish, that is. I think 107 is a... 107.50 to 107 is going to be... And then I'm just going to draw a line at 107. That is my objective, a swing objective. I think it's going to go a lot lower, but... Um, I think for a weekly target, a weekly range, that's 200 pips. 250 yeah dollar yen can do that it's like 190 it's average but yeah i think it's gonna do that um now how how am i looking at this so looking at the daily um obviously we got a daily block there if i mark out when i was looking at something here i'm not 50 percent of this right so i'm just building up a case for this right we've come to the 50 percent of this we've tagged it obviously we're gonna put above it there now, let me break this down further. Four hour, okay. 
it gets more clear in the four hour we've got this block here right I want to see this hold if it goes above here then my short ID is off for now and then I'm on the sideline um, I do not want to see if I'm correct I do not want to see these highs given if they do give in then obviously I think it's gonna go want to go or take out these highs but it's not a setup that's clear for me to take a longer either sometimes if I get stopped out of a short then it is clear it wants to go up so I start hunting the long setups and usually it is clear but sometimes like this scenario it's not at the moment it's not looking clear for me where to take the long from so so that's that the four hour and obviously we are in this four hour block let me just mark that out so i'm going to start breaking this down into a low time frame we got this straight to the body okay and then also we've got this here see so we see these two down candles here these down candles led to the move up to take out these stops so what's that it's supposed to be a support become resistance or become a breaker Show to the bodies, okay, because that would come in confluence with the four hour block. So, ideally, I do not want to see price go above here. Now, look, it's found, uh, it's found so resistance there more or less at 50% of that. So, we've had this consolidation here rip up, then we had a breakdown. We took out this low here. So, ideal scenario, um, this high stays intact. Now, I marked out um, this level here previously earlier on. And I said I'm gonna be watching dollar yen. And it came down, it's starting to break down from here, okay? Now if I go closer up fifty percent of that I pointed out pointed this out, that's why I said the one oh nine seventy. So let me just draw that out. One oh nine seven oh one. So we've got that and then do a different colour. Look at that. You can't get close above that. Yes, we spiked above, we came back down, and nicely we've, sh we've shown weakness now. So, what I would like is um, price start breaking down now. I mean, this would be the break. I do not want to see price go above here because this down move led to the move up, then take out these stops and then down. But this is a five minute. If it's a daily, it would, this would be a bigger pips. It's only six pips, so you got to remember the time frame you're looking at the uh, breakers and blocks out as well. If it's a five minute chart, you can't expect a huge movement. But I like the fact, what I do like about this, the overall picture, we had a quick, thin move up. I am expecting this to get filled in. And if we take out this low here, then I think we're going to go lower. But what I really want to see taken out is this block here. Reason why about this block is because it's support and resistance as well here. So resistance, resistance. Broke that and support and finding support here i think if this gives in we get below the 109 30s the one the, yeah i think if we get below the 109 30 that was confirm it and i'll be looking to go lower here so at the same time i'm going to draw out the weekly open so the open is 109 which is close enough to the 109 30s So, if I'm not sure, I'll wait. If I get a price breakdown below here, then I think the top would be in for the week. And that would mean all this price action would be the wick of the candle. Then I start hunting shorts and going for the 108, um, 12.5. So, 108, 15 even. 108, 12.5. So, the next objectives would be obviously this low there. But then it would be 108.10, 107.50 and 107. That would be the next objective downside so you know if not clear wait for that breakdown through the weekly open i'm hoping this spike up is the last leg up if i'm correct on the bearish bias um to pull in the lungs and to take out weak stops on the lower time frames like this high here i like the fact that we've ripped up and we've started to come and take out this high here and start to break down if we start going back above this high here then i think it's game over for the shorts short term and i think we're going to start pushing higher and start aiming for these highs here so we'll have to see um that's that dalian uh, euro aussie euro new zealand euro cat i'm not going to go into detail because i've already done this in my previous videos but i'll start this is the next objective here for me the euro uh as the next high here and here so i've gone into detail on this in previous video it's nice to see that this has come into um support here this block here i do think this is going to go higher there 
However, entry technique is up to you guys, but I do believe this is going to go high here. And I spoke about these down candles here, price finding support there. So this is the breaker previously. If I use the open of that, so it's a confluence of an order block and a breaker. These down candles that let me move up, down. We should have found the resistance there. We didn't. We broke through that. So if I draw it out like this, it's fine using that support now. And it's, it, the path of least resistance to me seems to be to the upside. This high, then that high, then we'll think about later prices later on. So next objective, that's 75 ticks, then that's 200 odd ticks. That's that Euro Aussie. That's what I mean. A rather short Aussie dollar through Euro Aussie. It's making it's making more sense through that. Uh, Euro CAD, similar scenario. I mean, it's consolidating. I believe it's making more sense to go higher. I spoke about. Um, oh shit! It's frozen. Oh shit! I was gonna show you guys something. Mm, no, that's not clear. I spoke about this level here. Uh, this breaker here. Resistance, resistance, and support, support. I'm hoping higher prices now and these are my targets there so I've already been through this but it's just checking over here again Euro New Zealand similar scenario this high here next I haven't really taken it yet I'm expecting this high there next um, and then after that I believe we're gonna go for this high here next and that high there going on to the weekly it's clearer this consolidation I spoke about so I'm still thinking higher prices on this um, so that's about it for now I mean gold so okay, look at gold. I still think gold is gonna go up, but I think it's retracing right right now. So what I've done is, um, if I get rid of this, if I go to the weekly, right? So if I mark out that high there, last week's high, so that comes in at twelve seventy four point zero three, twelve seventy four point zero three. Okay. So where is that coming at? Yep. So. I mean, it obviously can go lower, and then I've got this level here as well, this block here. So, bullish flow, bullish blocks can respect it. So, I'm seeing this as a retracement, I'm not seeing this as a uh, top. Um, next objective obviously will be 1296. I do think this is going to go higher. I think if this bottoms out then, and this starts ripping, I think then dollar yen. But with more confident. If this shows proof of bottoming out, then I'll be more confident with dollar yen shorts. At the moment, I'm not really confident with dollar yen shorts the way it's looking. So we'll see. I mean, if we can come down here. If not, because price has been quite efficient here, um, I'd, I'd, I'd want it. So the other scenario is if you're not confident there, I'll go to the four hour and I'll start and I'll wait for price to break above this high here. So I don't want to see price break above that high here. This is the second scenario for confirmation. And then a retest because these down candles would be, um, if say for example it bottomed out here and you're not confident on getting long here, I'd wait for the move above here, back into resistance turn support, then continuation higher. That would be the one scenario. The other one, ideally, I'd want to see a move like this, and then move up. Okay. So I'm waiting now. It's still early in the week. It's just like it's Tuesday and started for me yet. Yeah? So let price settle down. Let the weekly open, um, and weekly. You know play with the weekly opens uh, so if it's bullish let price fuck around below the weekly open once it gets above it see the, how the price is looking uh, below it and start looking for price below the weekly open as uh, resistant to and support so open is 1288.07 1288.07 oh let me redo that 67 sorry be tired so I'm missing a few things okay that's that back to the four hour yep so we start going back above the weekly open then we start hunting motherfucking longs um so yeah i think it will be uh, yeah so let price unfold we'll see i still think it's gonna go higher makes more sense to go higher than lower but we'll see um it's brief for now as price unfolds and market becomes clearer then i'll um do another review but as it stands for that this is all i can all i'm seeing right now is this it may not be much but it's just what the market is showing me right now so we'll let the market unfold and then we'll see how it goes